This is a demonstration of Thermalign's F79325 tube furnace. This is a 1200 degree C split tube furnace that has a digital single set point controller. It has an operating temperature of between 100 to 1200 degrees C. It has an inside dimensions of 4 inches in diameter by 12 inches long. It is powered by 120 volts AC requiring 24 amp service. Just to show you the rear connections, this is your main power line coming into the unit. Then there is a flying cable here that goes from the uh, main unit to the heater controls, uh, to the actual heating elements. This is a control line that is in place for the uh, lid switch that must be made in order for the heaters to turn on. And of course, these are the two thermal couples. This one reads the temperature for the main controller, and this one reads the temperature for the over temperature controller that once exceeded would shut the heaters down. Now we'll return to the front. Okay, we turn our system on. When the system first comes on, you'll notice that this red light's on. That's the over temp light, and once the controller sets, it turns off. As long as that light is on, it will not allow the heaters to turn on. Uh, for example, when I turn the unit off, let's turn it on again. Notice I left the heat switch on. The heaters did not come on until the overtemp sensor sets. There you go. Now, our particular customer wants to see this uh, furnace come up to 1,000 degrees and hold for 30 minutes. Then after that, I will drop it all the way back down to room temperature and repeat that test again, bringing it up to 1,000 degrees and holding it for 30 minutes. So, this heats up pretty fast, but it needs a little time. As you can see already, it's starting to heat up. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how it's doing. We've returned and uh, we're just about up to our set point of 1,000, our over temp display is a little bit higher but it won't kick out because I've set it to 1100 degrees a little bit over now as you can see the heat is blinking that indicates that it is controlling the temperature and holding it at the set point so now we want to let that run for a half an hour and then we'll come back and here we go Okay folks, here we are at uh, 30 minutes. Uh, it held uh, right at 1,000 degrees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off the heaters and we're going to, it's going to take about an hour or so, but we're going to let the furnace cool down to room temperature again and then we're going to perform this test one more time. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we've returned. Um, we've cooled all the way down to room temperature. As you can see, we're down to 22 degrees here. And now we're going to close it up again. There we go. And we've reset our counter. And first, we're going to heat it up. And we'll return in a little bit. Back. Uh, as you can see, we're just about to a thousand here. Uh, heated up pretty quick. So we're going to start our counter and we're going to go for our next 30 minute uh, 1000 degree run. So we'll come back in a little bit and see how it's doing. Okay, here we are at uh, exactly 30 minutes. So it is held at a constant temperature of a thousand degrees. Last thing I want to show you is the over temp. <clears throat> now, I have it presently set for 1100. However, if I were to lower it, 
way down. Let's say I put it somewhere down here. The minute I let go of it, it immediately shut down the heaters. That's because this again is a safety precaution as well. Now you see, notice that I can't reset it. I cannot turn on those heaters. However, if I went back up, let's say, the minute you go above that set point, it'll reset the heaters for you. It's a very good safety uh, accessory as well. And this completes this demonstration.